Marav, thank you so much. At least 43 people have been killed in fighting between armed groups and government forces around the northwest South Sudanese town of Wau. Thousands have fled the fierce clashes in the world's youngest state, still hit by violence and poverty almost five years after its independence from civil war for Sudan, and despite a peace deal with rebels inside its own borders. It's a fight that's mainly drawn along ethnic lines, vying for control over land and oil reserves. A government spokesperson said forces are battling fighters loyal to a militia leader, Ali Tamin Fatan. He's trying to control territory near the western border with the Central African Republic. Now, in two days' time, the United Nations mission to Liberia is going to hand over security to the Liberian government. This after 13 years of peacekeeping presence. It's a proud moment for this West African country and their forces say they're ready to handle their own security, despite concerns about a lack of equipment and corruption. The national security apparatus is ready to assume this great responsibility. Preparation in security, there will always be room for improvement. So yes, there are challenges, there are gaps that we still need to fill. And uh, on our, our own national security policy, we continue to do that to strengthen our apparatus in the areas of uh, logistics, the areas of training. Now, there's been renewed focus on African migrants in recent weeks, mainly because of border closures in the Western Balkans and the EU deal with Turkey. These have led to a sharp reduction of refugees to Greece, but most of the some 64,000 people who have reached Italy via Libya and the some 3,000 people that have died in the attempt come from North, Central and West Africa, including Nigeria, Mali and the Ivory Coast. And most are said to be economic migrants. Now, a report leaked by the EU Observer today said that European leaders are likely to look at stopping these migrants from leaving Africa for Europe at discussions later in Brussels. Now, over 100 NGOs are calling on the leaders to reject those proposals, many of which involve giving funds such as development aid and trade to African countries as leverage for stopping migrants heading for Europe. And America's First Lady Michelle Obama landed in Morocco today from Liberia as part of her three-nation tour to promote girls' education. She's in the North African country for two days with her daughters, who will meet with the Moroccan princess Lala Salma. Obama is set to continue on to Madrid to present her education initiative, Let Girls Learn, which calls for greater support for millions of girls kept away from school or forced to abandon their studies around the world. Sports now and the African Athletics Championships have ended with South Africa top of the table with 33 medals, including 16 gold. Kenya finished second with 24, including 8 gold. The competition is seen as a mix of Africa's best in track and field. But Kenya and Ethiopia sent a team of fringe ath athletes without any of their top stars. It's a move that prompted the Confederation of Athletics to warn athletes who stay away from the next round in Lagos in 2018 may be banned from representing their countries at global events in the future, like the Olympics. Let's hope they do get to compete in those international events. Marav, back to you.